contains material that may be offensive to some viewers. And in case you haven't noticed, this show is totally untrue. You shouldn't believe a word of it, no matter how convincing it seems. This is the story of a former queen of pop who would get back to the top by putting her mouth on the pulse of a nation. It's the totally untrue history of the Madonna Britney Christina three way lip lock fiasco. Madonna rose to fame in the 80s as a Catholic of epic proportions. Strike a pose. But when her colossal fame went to her Botox inflated head, Madonna would take her hand off the pulse of coolness, leaving important creative decisions to her host of full-time slaves and new age think tanks. Madonna's totally untrue life coach and spiritual advisor, Shoshana. It was a really big blow to Madonna's feng shui, and she felt that she needed to completely reinvent herself again. Hell no. I never want to go back to selling donuts. She started her downward spiral into mediocrity by engaging in unspeakably uncool acts, including poorly faking a British accent. <laughs> Rapping about Pilates. I do yoga and Pilates, and the room is full of hotties. So I'm checking out the bodies, and you know I'm satisfied. I'm digging. And low interest mortgages, and even releasing her own line of children's books. With nobody paying attention to Madonna's bland career moves, she began to wither like a dried prune without her precious life sustaining adoration. Totally untrue editor of Inside Dish magazine, Bash Maroof. With Miss Thing not getting her chimney swept on a regular basis, she fell into a total depression and did what every woman in a loveless sham marriage does. She turned to the world of seedy, meaningless online hookup websites, desperately looking for somebody to whistle into her canyon. She would turn to the online dating website, hollywoodhookups.com, a gateway used by celebrities to navigate the murky waters of the incestuous dating pool known as the entertainment industry. The pop star's desperate one-handed quest would yield two potential PR gold mines in the form of a pair of up-and-coming youthful Pop-Tarts by the name of Britney Spears. I was obsessed with Madonna. Christina Aguilera. Just looking at one of my favorites, uh, Madonna. Britney Spears, her profile read, desperately seeking cool. Totally untrue webmaster of HollywoodHookups.com, Barry Dupliess. She's looking for an older woman who could help her shed her ditzy backwater image. Christina Aguilera, however, she uh, embraced her role as a greasy fluid receptacle. The collective skank of even one of these divas could easily power more than a million households for over 300 years. But the choice of which to pick would not be as easy as either of the candidates. I don't want to give it another moment's notice. I think it's ridiculous. Rather than have to think, Madonna decided to simply have them both. Madonna's double date with Brit and ex-Tina was kind of like that old sandwich you find at the bottom of your locker. One soggy, pathetic piece of gray meat slapped between two crusty white bread slabs. The following Madonna. is a totally untrue drag queen Christina. sitcom of Madonna's date and with Britney, Britney and Christina. All together on two plus one. Two plus one is recorded in front of the live studio audience. How exciting to be on a date with you, Christina. Oh, you are something else to me, Madonna. Why don't we go into the condom shack here, you beautiful stranger? Oh, you know what it feels like for a girl, man. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, go in there. Madge is going to buy you something beautiful. Okay. Oh. I don't want to see. You. I'm swept away by this whole experience. All right, darling. Christina tried on clothes as Madonna ran back to her date with Brittany. Brittany. Oh. Hello, darling. Sorry I was oh, late. Sorry, that's okay. Oh. Oh, well. It's a little tight. Oh. Well, you've been waiting forever. Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> Help me reinvent my career again. How about changing your accent? The English accent. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. The dingo ate my baby. No, no, not that, not that. Not that. <laughs> you, it's real hard. You, you have enough problems already. Already? With your babies. The baby. You don't want the dingo eating the baby. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, really? 
Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, okay. Fabulous. I love it. Gorgeous. I pooped a little. Do you have any toilet paper? Meanwhile, Madonna was running faster than a hog in heat between her date with Christina and Brittany. <sighs> okay, done. Beautiful. That's Thank the one. You. Okay, go in and change. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Can I get another drink, please? I had a great time. Oh, it was fabulous. It was... Thank you. No, not on the first date. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, baby, it's Jesus juice. Come on, just drink a little. Beautiful, good fish. Sorry about that. Hey. Where you is my no, drink, you darling? You drank it, silly. Anyways, I've got to go, darling. You've got to go already. I've got an oh. appointment with an adoption counselor. What's going on? I'm new babies, right? New, new two babies. new babies. Fresh eggs. Fresh eggs. Okay. 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 No, 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 not my first date, Madonna. Not a good girl. Nobody says no to Madonna. Uh, can, I, can I call you? Gimme, gimme, gimme. My new daddy. Don't worry, Preston. Mama's gonna fix it, okay? Madonna seemed to keep both ladies in the dark. But just like in a bad 80s sitcom, Madonna's player-like behavior would come to a head just moments before her performance at the 2003 MTV Music Awards with hilarious consequences. What fresh hell is that? Yeah. Girls, we don't have time for this. We're just about to go on stage for the MTV Music Awards. Get it together. Nobody's mm. just wanted to tell you, baby. Thinking of you keeps me up all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. You drive me crazy. Give me more, hit me, baby, in my behind. Oh, no, girl, pick me because... Now, Whoa. little old Madonna Whoa. had herself in one dilly of a pickle here. With two of the country's most prized peaches both screaming to be picked, she found herself stuck between a rock and a moist place. Well, didn't you know, she came up with one hell of a genius idea. I've got it, girls. How about a menage a trois? <laughs> I've done worse. I don't get it. And so, masturbatory history was made. With Madonna's rediscovered drive to exploit her private life for fame and fortune, she would dump the girls like a pair of cold, dead fish. That's too bad, but that's, too, that's just the way it is. Christina became completely delusional, insisting that the year was 1934, a kinder, simpler time where easy women like Madonna were efficiently repressed and kept behind closed doors where they belonged. Britney was equally as devastated, choosing to throw away her multi-million dollar pop music career to become the figurehead of the Hare Krishna movement. But our world would find itself forever changed, as well as in need of several STD checkups. And that's the totally untrue history of the Madonna Britney Christina three-way lip lock. Up next, behind the Battle of the Bows, 